Anybody remember Texas nullifying anything? No. No. Mm. You know, where are, we're sleeping at the wheel on that. We need leadership in Austin. We need a governor who says, uh, let me see. We've got a pretty big ag industry in Texas. We've got a few farmers and ranchers here. And I don't remember reading a clause in the U.S. Constitution that gives the federal government any business in agriculture. How about we nullify federal intervention in ag and we tell our farmers and ranchers, you want to plant it, grow it, sell it, plant it, grow it, sell it, get out there and get out there. Or I don't know, maybe energy. A little energy business in this part of Texas. A little oil and gas here, a little wind out west. Maybe we say to the federal government, there's no constitutional authority for you to regulate energy. If energy providers need to be regulated, we, we got it. We'll take care of it in Texas. We got, we got the three branches of government, just like you boys in Washington do. We got an executive and a legislative and a judiciary. If we need to regulate energy, we'll regulate energy in Texas. Stay out of the Texas energy industry. You guys want to produce energy, alternative this, that, or the other, have at it. The market will determine the best sources of energy available at the lowest cost to the most people. Texas energy providers, get out there and get after it. We'll keep Washington off your back. We got you. well, maybe some of you in here are involved in education and maybe you have read the Texas Constitution where it says in order that our children understand liberty Texas will provide a free public education for the general dissemination of knowledge. Washington, we don't need your help. We can teach our children all by ourselves. We've been doing it for hundreds of years. We do it quite well. Get out of education in Texas. Yeah. Or finally, maybe we say no constitutional authority in health care. Mm. Yes. Oh, yeah. In fact, we might ought to rethink whether the government ought to be in health care at all. Yes. Maybe you would agree with me that a free society rests on three pillars. There is individuals and families that have a real role in that society. And there are communities and churches that have a real role in that society. And there is a government. And when we, as a people, abdicate or shift or demand that the government be three legs, that stool will never stand. We need to really look at what we're doing in health care. We certainly need to tell Washington, you have no business in Texas health care. We've got the finest medical facilities, doctors, nurses, emergency providers, anywhere in the world, right here in Texas, We'll take care of Texans who need health care. Yeah. We don't need to watch. <laughs> what I'd really like to see and what we're really studying in this campaign is not which of those, because clearly all of them are begging for a fight. Every area that I mentioned is begging for a fight. The question is, remember that game we used to play when I was a kid that would pick up sticks, you had those things, you drop them down and you try to pull one, and I want to find the one that we can pull out. Which legal leg props up federal intervention into all those areas? Is there one legal basis that when we get that one, maybe it's in ag, the intervention in healthcare and education also fall? Where do we make that kind of fight so that we don't have to nitpick at this Goliath for the next 50 years, but so we can make some substantive inroads into backing the federal government out of the great state of Texas? How do we engage that battle? You got a legal mind for that. You're an attorney who has some expertise in that. We'd love your labor of love between now and next March. April, May, June, July, August, <laughs> <laughs> To begin to craft that, I'm saying everywhere I speak, I hope you will make a call to Attorney General Abbott's office in the next week or so. 
and encourage him to be engaging today in the legal research to stop cap and trade, to keep oh, yeah. health care out of Texas. We've got an executive branch seated today. It's the governor and the lieutenant governor and the attorney general and the secretary of state and the comptroller. They've got a job to do. And those legal arguments don't get written overnight. It takes time and effort and energy. Let's not wait till cap and trade has collapsed our economy. Let's not wait until health care is choking us to death. Let's start Texas. Let's start pushing on that now. Let's start defending ourselves. Let's start pressing the issue in the federal courts today. You have no authority. We see it coming and we're going to stop you in Texas. And then when we seek that next legislature, let's make sure that we've been talking to those state reps and state senators and saying to them, we want some legislation that nullifies these things. Get Washington, D.C. out of the great state of Texas. Let's make sure that we have a governor that will interpose, that will say that law will not be enforced in this state. We will not enforce that federal law in this state. It will have no effect here. When we begin to use the tools that the founders envisioned, most of you, I think, would agree that this is the greatest nation. Is it not? Yes. Yes. The blueprint for that nation was the Constitution. It is the foundation on which that nation stands. Why would we tear up the blueprint? Why would we do that? Let's follow that blueprint. Let's use those tools that those wise men said to us. Here's how you keep a limited federal government and sovereign states that collectively form that federal union. That's how you keep men free. That's how you keep government limited. Let's start using, aggressively using nullification. And the next time the governor comes out and tosses secession out like it was yesterday's newspaper, you remind him that if he starts us down that path, our children are going to bleed on that force. That is not something that you play with. You were talking about destroying the union of the greatest country that man has ever envisioned. How about we do the things that our founders told us to do to keep it healthy before we start nonchalantly talking about destroying it? How irresponsible, how irresponsible to have that conversation. Let's secure private property in Texas. Let's show the rest of the country how to be a sovereign state. Let's continue to press the federal government to do their job on the border, but let's say Texas is tired of holding its breath and we're going to secure and control our border. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen.